Whittingham and Bagembi working together. Here they go through boot once again. Less than a second covering the top three. And Bagembi, we've seen him before. He does tend to go for a pass when there's one available. So he's just hanging back at the moment. He's just having a peek down the inside of Whittingham. But he knows it's going to be a tough ass to get past Whittingham cleanly here and not lose any time. So at the moment, just seem to be working together. Eyes on the prize, isn't it? It was actually Dalton Hayward who uh, was going past Mason Thurlow last lap. Oliver Majewski is with them, but, but didn't execute a pass. So it's currently Ben Simpson in fourth, and then it's Champney and Hayward as uh, Rocco Leon has set the fastest lap of the race again. But not by much, only four hundredths of a second faster than Harrison Whitcomb. So the consistency... Oh, and uh, actually Begembe matching him on pace exactly there. Yes. Less than one second covering the top three now. So this is oh, starting this is, to hot up a bit now as we head towards the halfway point. Fantastic stuff, isn't it? So close here in Honda Cadets. Uh, but yeah, Ben Simpson in fourth, Theo Champney in fifth, and then it's Dalton Hayward and Mason Thurlow currently in sixth and seventh respectively. As on to a new lap. What's it this time? Has the gap gone down? Dup by a little bit again. Weird. Again, Whittacombe with the fastest lap of the race, 53.56. We're talking fine margins here, Howard. Oh, right? yeah. It looks to me like Shenton was a little bit ragged going into boot. Not by very much, but it was enough just to land to close up as Begembe times his move, goes down the inside. Whittacombe will do well here just to tag on to the back of Begembe because they still are in close. It was a nice clean move there from Begembe. Gets through and makes the move stick. And Whittingham not really losing out. And then we see Begembe just trying to get a push along here as well. He's had a good afternoon. Oh, small that was he's a had a big small good afternoon. But uh, <laughs> Begembe's had a good afternoon. He, he does seem to go for the pass quite quickly. And he's an aggressive driver. He's also very clean as well. So uh, certainly looking good. And I think Whittingham will do well here to hang on and just three-way battle for the lead towards the end, possibly. Absolutely, but that was a bit of a heart-in-the-mouth moment for Begemi there, but he managed to keep it together, well held as they come on to lap number six, and still the gaps come down, crucially, in even though there was a change of position there. So Begemi has got some good pace here. It's going to be interesting to see if he can reel in Rocco Leon Chenton, who has been uh, so impressive so far. Dalton Hayward has managed to get himself up into fourth place and is now setting fast in the lap of the race, trying to break down that one-and-a-half second gap that he has to Whittacombe in third, but it's still a big ask for Dalton Hayward. Meanwhile, this is the number 40 of Oliver Majewski defending eighth position from the likes of Mason Thurlow uh, in the 50. Uh, Mason Thurlow and Harry uh, Friel. Friel a bit further behind. Oh, it's down the inside there goes the 32. Riley Bishop after that mistake on the first lap, yep. really fighting back well here. Potentially, I think this time's running out for him. It could be out of contention for the lead, but... Uh, but he has fought back well. He's up to, I believe, he'll be heading up towards sixth position now as we see how close things are getting at the front. Yet again, the gap closes down McGemby with another fastest lap of the race. Seven tenths of a second covering the top three. And, well, Shenty, he's looking, he's looking over his shoulder. And I think sometimes that's the worst thing you can do when you're leading a race. Yeah, it's, it's that uh, battle in your mind. Do you want more information or would you rather not know? And... Uh, the, uh, the answer at the moment is that the gap is coming down. Joshua Begembe doing a good job here of reeling in Rocco Leon Chenton. Both of these drivers have been superb today in this Honda Cadet class. Trouble is here, of course, when if you're the second place driver, you can see the leader looking left, looking right. It almost gives you a little bit of a confidence boost. Think he's looking a little bit shaky at the front. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And Harrison Whitcomb will uh, fancy his chances here as well, but don't count out Dalton Hayward bringing himself into contention. You can see him yeah, there, he's in there in the number 68 in fourth place. 1.6 seconds actually covering the top four. And actually, Hayward with the fastest lap so far. Again, Shenton yeah. checking over his shoulder. Hayward has really been, it's been great actually to see him get that one and a half second gap that he's managed to close. But his, his last lap, 53.16, is the fastest of the race by some margin, actually. Yeah, that is a, that's a time, that is. That is, uh, that is very impressive stuff. As now the pressure, the screw being tightened here by Joshua Begembe at the front of the field on Rocco Leon Shenton. I think Shenton is a good driver here. Shenton doesn't need to worry so much about Begembe here. Just concentrate on his own race, look at his own lines, and control the race from the front. If he keeps looking behind him, he's just going to draw Begembe in closer, give Begembe confidence. I think Shenton, he's... he's doing well here but just concentrate on your own lines yep this is ben simpson you just saw briefly there he's in uh, sixth place at the moment uh, and that's allowed riley bishop actually riley bishop got by ben simpson last lap as dalton hayward at 53.1 dead that's a brilliant time there as now began is definitely in that slipstream with 90 seconds plus a lap to go of this one this ladies and gentlemen could be a real grandstand finish to our days running here to our weekends running here 
at Wilton Mill Car Club for round five of the 2020 championship. Another look, quick look over the shoulder from Shenton. And at this point, I think maybe he does need to have a look because he needs to know where the attack might be coming from Possibly. at this point as uh, they come onto the back straight. Whittacombe and Haywood. Well, is Haywood going to stay with Whittacombe and hope that the gap opens up? Or is because Haywood's pace has been so good, does he just try and get by Whittacombe and get onto I the back of so. these guys? I think Haywood's so quick at the moment. He's got to try and get past Whittacombe and just hope that these two start to come together a bit. Riley Bishop in contention as well, yeah. if it all starts to slow up as they battle as well. And a great battle still going on between Theo Champ Champ Champney, Mason Thurlow, Ben be. Simpson. Watch him now on the inside. He's going to try and Oh, he was almost going to try and sell him the dummy there, I think. Rocco Leon Chenton just doing that little trip we saw a little early on yeah. today. Just a little bit to the right of the standard line to, jo to go. I'm going to be wise to you if you uh, suddenly sweep to the inside on me. Uh, but Bagembe there. Good run out of Ashby. Will there be an opportunity down into Ozius? My goodness me, how close were those bumpers Shenton's as you saw well side here. on? Shenton's doing very well. He's, he's running his own race now a bit, but he's, he is wise, like you say, to Bagembe. Let's have a look through Boots as Bagembe right on the rear bumper of that cart at the front. Shenton is it trying be to guard the apex. Now this is tight on the timer, yeah. isn't it? Are they going to cross the line? Uh, yes, it is the last lap. Yeah, Just that's, uh, that plays helps into Shenton. Shenton. Yeah, absolutely. Here we go then. Last lap up the hill. Now's the time for Bagembe. He's going around the outside. He's trying to. Is he going to have a run? Look how far over to the right goes Shenton, but that will give Begembe the opportunity to have the switch cut yeah, back. Yeah, Begembe is going to try the outside here, but oh, Shenton does well to cover that line. Oh, brilliantly judged, brilliantly judged. What about into Ashby? Super defensive again, but he goes back over to the right. That's a, an Shen interesting he's technique doing well there. well isn't he? Shenton's yeah. not too defensive because if he goes too, he'll outdo himself on the exit, and it's all about exit speed on these Honda Cadets at times. Shenton doing very well here, Begembe on his tail. Here they come down to boot for the final time. Hayward and Whittingham realistically out of contention at the moment. But here we go, Howard. This is going to be very close into boot for the final time. But Gemby right round the outside going for the switchback. Yeah, absolutely. But I think it's not going to be enough. Rocco Leon Shenton is going to come round to take a well-deserved victory in the Honda Cadets A final here. He takes the trophy home. Joshua Begembe in second. Dalton Hayward finishes third. Final of the podium steps. And with a 53.07 lap time to finish off as well, he finishes the day in style. Harrison Whittacombe, a good, respectable fourth there. Riley Bishop in fifth, Ben Simpson in sixth, seventh for Theo Champney, Mason Thurlow in eighth, and it was Harry Friel and Oliver Majewski to round out your top ten. Elliot Potter, Charlie Mills, Harrison Morrow, David Whiskors, uh, Mayan Patel, Jensen Puke. Mayan Patel, by the way, highest place of our novice runners there. So well done to Mayan for that. Jensen Pugh in 16th, 17th. For Max Fallon, there was Jacko in Drawbridge, Noah Pikes, 